Hello and welcome. Hey, I'm here today with Scott Tolinsky, co-host of Syntax FM. Thanks for joining us, Scott. Hey, thank you. Happy to be here. You bet. And we're going to talk about JS Nation, which is June 13th and 17th. It's in Amsterdam, but it's also a hybrid conference, so you can attend online. And I'm going to put a link in the description for viewers. I've got a discount link, so if you all want to check that out, please do. And Scott and I will be talking about that today. But I like to start out with some lighthearted questions just a little bit. And I saw a video on Twitter last week. I don't think everybody is aware, of course, a great developer, co-host of Syntax FM, you also break dance. Tell me about that. How'd that get started? Yeah, yeah. I you know I started music videos when I was in high school, and uh, I, I started driving up to a, uh, a practice spot once a week when I was in high school. And uh, next thing you know, I've been doing it for twenty some years. I've done performances for NBA and NFL teams. Been in a bunch of really terrible local music videos <laughs> just competitions all over so it's it, i've been doing it for a really long time even longer than i've been a web dev actually so that's impressive and also it looks very physical honestly you know i'm not as young as i used to be so it's impressive that you can do that for over two decades yeah it's 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 getting harder every every year but uh <laughs> you know as long as i don't stop i can make it part of my my daily or my weekly and then you know your body will keep it going. I'm sure if I took too long of a break, I would uh, have a really hard time. I understand. I think it's the same with coding, right? Yeah, <laughs> you take a yeah, break and yeah. you come back. Where's my mind? <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> so speaking of a couple of decades, it, this is something I like to ask, especially for those of us that have been around a while. What was your first editor? I'm not talking about IDE. Mm -hmm. I think you go back as far, almost maybe as far as I do, as far as what was your first actual editor that you were writing code in? Yeah, it was Dreamweaver. Actually, I'm, I take that back. Um, man, what was the Adobe had pre Macromedia acquisition? They had an editor, and I, I'm totally blanking on the name right now. But you could drag and drop things onto a grid and overlay, and obviously, it never worked on Internet Explorer like you'd expect it to. And it worked in the, in the preview editor. So it was whatever Adobe's editor was pre macromedia acquisition i did use dreamweaver until i got my first job and then they sent me straight on the uh textmate uh textmate track right there so my first my first developer uh style text editor would probably be textmate but yeah definitely use dreamweaver for a lot when i first started nice i've heard that one before and i think maybe maybe you were talking about page mill which no, i used not way that back. yeah what is it? I, it's going to bother me a lot. It had like a butterfly on the cover, but it was like part of the CS suite. Yeah. Pre flash, pre all that stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, now what, you know, this, this new year, there's lots of new things, lots of new tech, and you talk about a lot of it on your podcast, Syntax FM. And I'm just curious, what's something that's kind of got you excited this year about writing code and just the developer environment overall? Yeah, there's there's a couple things, you know, I'm I'm really excited by the the Svelte 5 launch. I've been working with Svelte 5 in production for a little while now, you know, knowing that it's going to be a bumpy road. That's kind of something I like to do. Um and I have several apps now cruising in in Svelte 5 and it's just kind of really really dialed in as as a great platform for me. Um and I'm excited for that to launch fully. I've also been using Pocket base a lot uh, pocket base really super easy way to get a, a back end uh, set up it has a really great CMS like UI you don't have to do migrations and stuff yourself auth baked in uh, roles and stuff baked in so you can get all those permission flows and I found that to be a really really polished product that you can host yourself super easily cool nice recommendations we'll have to check out now let's talk about JS Nation. And if you can, tell us a little bit about the topic of your talk or what you want to discuss there without giving it all away, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So the topic of my talk is really uh, to distill it into uh, um, a little tagline would be sometimes like the best JavaScript is the JavaScript you don't have to write. Um, the browser can do a lot for us. And the browser has been able to do a lot for us, but it feels like in the past you know, four years that that's changed quite a bit. And I'm not talking necessarily web components. I'm talking about 
the additions to CSS and HTML um, that not just limit the amount of JavaScript we have to write uh, to do certain interactive things, but really even just decrease it. So I'm not talking necessarily about limiting and removing JavaScript entirely. I'm saying like, what are these new APIs uh, that we can now take advantage of where in the past, you are reaching for a front end framework, you're reaching for JavaScript in the past, even before that a jQuery plugin, the types of things you were always reaching for JavaScript for. And we're going to be exploring common UI patterns that can be done now with very minimal JS or HTML and CSS only. Hey, that sounds like a very cool discussion, Scott. I'm looking forward to it. And again, I'm putting a link to JS Nation, a discount link for all the viewers in the video description and in the comments. So make sure you check that out. JS Nation is June 13th and 17th, a hybrid conference, Amsterdam on location and online. Scott Talinsky will be talking there. Thank you for your time today, Scott. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Dave. All right, take care, my friend. Take care. Hey guys, I recently started a Patreon and I'm already giving shout outs to Holy Coder, who is a progress provider and Eldad who joined at the senior member level. Also shout outs to all of the junior members that have joined. Thank you all so much. You're helping me reach my goals. And if you haven't joined, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. I've got exclusive content there that you won't find on YouTube. And I've also got early release content. Hope to see you there. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection, and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.